What's up? Welcome back to the channel. So we had a pretty good day out on the water. And so what I'm doing today is gonna to do a uh, video on how to fillet a flounder. Especially when they're really nice big flounders like this, where you're not having to do a whole lot of cutting. This one was a 20 inch flounder. Start off on one side. Jeremy, I need you to stay on one side, Pop, because I got a knife in my hand, okay? All right, stay on one side. Come on closer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start at start near the tail, and I'm just gonna go all the way. I'm gonna cut down to the bone, and then I'm gonna slide my knife this way. You can also start at the head and work your way back. back. Like that. I'm still going. Now, I'm not using an electric knife. I had one years ago, but I broke it. So here. And so now what we have, I'm gonna cut right here behind that pin. And we've got one half already. Now what I'll show you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skin this as well. So this creates some fillets for you. Now the underbelly side is the harder side to do. Come on, dude, what's wrong? Hey. Come on, you'll be all right. What? Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Won't be quite as easy, but I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna do the same thing. So I cut down to that bone, then I bite it. Come on, Jeremy. I'm gonna glide that knife. Hey, what's up, Greg? Whoops. That's one of my neighbors. He likes to fish too. So here we go. this side but hey you were forewarned that I do not do well with the Jeremy, white side so funny, man. Okay. So this is one way that I'll do one and then I'll show you the other side but if you look at this you can see I got basically all of the actual eatable flesh off of this flounder Notice all I'm doing is gliding my knife along that, along the skin like this, and I'm not having to do any scaling. There we go. I'm gonna cut off the piece here that does have all of those bones on it, those bones in it. So there we are, one real nice big fillet. Now on the other piece, <laughs> which was the, the one that I kind of had to butcher to get off, I'm gonna use a different knife. Let me see if this one helps on this side. So I'm going down, taking that skin off again. Now on this one, same thing. I got that fillet from that back side gonna clean this bad boy. <laughs> Dude, it's not that serious. What? So on this one, I'm gonna do this front side the same way that I did the last time. But when I get to the back, I'm gonna cut the back a different way. So down I bones. usually do this front side this way because slide. I like getting this one big large fillet. But on the slide. back, the other way I think then does work better. Up. If you have an electric knife, using this method is really easy. Because with the electric knife, you basically don't even have to be doing the, uh, the gliding the knife the way that I'm doing, since it will do it for you. Cutting behind the head. Big 
fillet. Skinning it in the middle, in a little bit. Come on, Jeremy, dude. This is Jeremy's first time watching me fillet a fish. So, you're acting like it. It's your third time. So why are you over here acting like that then? So this is a different method. This one I'm, I'm basically calling like a V technique. Using a V, where well, I already call it a Y because you've cut down a V and then you've done the line and so now it's a Y. Cut this way. Gliding that right across right here. So if you notice on the back, on the side of the flounder, when you get towards this side, as well as this side, this is not anything that's edible. It's just full of bone. So when I do this, I've just separated it from that basically. So then all I have to do is cut this stuff off. And then I've got my entire filet for that side. Okay, so see, I just took off the stuff that I, that you wouldn't want to eat. And on this back side, this one gives you a real good view. So this side, it's like this. So you're gonna raise that meat up. Cut there. Then remember, this is the side that really isn't edible. So I'm gonna just cut along this, and you can really see where that is. Cut along here. And do it and there we go and if you notice really all of the edible meat has been taken off so now let's take the skin off of these put them like this use that knife Come on this way it's a fillet that's already skinned now Let's do the, take the skin off of this one as well. Same thing. So we're cutting that piece off, that's not edible. Not having. Okay, now let's, <laughs> I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Cutting down to where the skin is with the scales on the back side of it, but I'm gonna use a knife just between the, the, the meat and the skin. So then I'm not having to take any time with scaling the fish. And I do. There you go. There you have it. See, all of the scales and things are still intact on this back side of the fish. So now, all we have to do is kind of clean this stuff up. You've got your, your flounder ready to go. So guys, thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments or anything, please post them. Give me a thumbs up or a like. But subscribe. thanks for watching. Oh yeah, thanks Jeremy. Ask him to do what? Subscribe. And do what? Notifications bell. Oh, and hit the notifications bell. All right, thanks. Go get you some.